Hey guys, I just wanted to talk today about the pacing and what that means on today's workout. You'll see our workout today of a certain designated uh, distance at your 2K row pace plus three seconds. And then you'll see 250 at 2K pace minus five seconds. Now, there's a couple things for this. One, you need to know your 2K row time. Okay, and if you don't have that, you're gonna have to establish that. And that can be done today or another time. All right, but once you have your 2K time, bring it up to the TV. You're gonna see a chart here, okay? It has a column listed with 2,000 meters and then all the times. So say for example, my 2K row for simplicity was eight minutes, all right? In my eight minute period, my average pace per 500 meters was two minutes on the, on the rower. So we're gonna to go to the rower in just a second here, but what I'm looking for, so that first number, I take two minutes, that was my pace, bring it back over. and I'm adding three seconds. So for example, two minutes plus three seconds is two minutes and three seconds. So you're gonna row 1,000 meters at two minutes and three seconds. All right, you're gonna maintain that the entire time across that 1,000 meters. You then rest, and then we're gonna go 250 at your minus five seconds of that pace. So two minutes minus five seconds is one minute and 55 seconds. You're gonna row 250 meters at one minute and 55 second average pace the entire time. Okay, so it's all about learning how to pace and maintaining that pace throughout when you're fatigued, when you're fresh, etc. Okay, and that's very important. Now, we're going to utilize this, and you do this throughout today's workout, and in the future workouts, you're going to see this as well. So just get, get familiar with kind of how to figure that out like this. All right, now, let's go to the rower. All right, let me just turn this on real quick. Gotta love this fast monitors. All right, so you'll see here, and I'll just do a couple pulls here just to get it. There we go. All right, you'll see that I just rode on that one stroke a two minute and 33 second pace if I were to maintain that same exact pull, okay? So for our example, we needed to row two minutes and three seconds. So you're gonna get to this number. You need this display on the monitor, and you have to row two minutes and three seconds for that first uh, interval, okay? The next interval, you're gonna try and get that slash 500, that pace down to one minute and 55 seconds. And again, maintaining that throughout. So this is the screen you wanna be on. There's also another screen, I mean, you can just get it. It just has to say slash 500. And that's gonna teach you guys how to pace properly so that you can get the right benefit out of this, these types of conditioning workouts. You know, for example, if you go really, really fast, say you went instead of 155, or sorry, 203, and you did 140, for example, you're, you're gonna die off and actually you'll probably finish slower than you started. So use those uh, pacing as sort of the goal of the interval work on the rowing today and as well as in the future for future workouts. Hope that helps.